काफले दर काफले उशाक के आए हैं मेहमा मसीह पाक के काफले दर काफले उशाक के आए हैं मेहमा मसीह पाक के काफले दर काफले उशाक के आए हैं मेहमा मसीह पाक के भूल के दुनिया के सब सूदो जया तीन दिन नूरो नहाएंगे यहाँ यू ही परवान नहीं सरशार से एक शमारू है इनके दरमया काफले दर काफले उशाक के आए हैं मेहमा मसीह पाक के In 1874 the promised Messiah alayhi salam saw in a dream a most beautiful young boy about 7 years of age In his dream the promised Messiah alayhi salam looked upon him as an angel He was sitting on a raised platform which was also perhaps covered The boy gave the promised Messiah alayhi salam a most delicious and luminous naan It was four times the ordinary size While handing it to the promised Messiah alayhi salam the angel said Take this it is for you and the dervishes who are with you This was a most significant dream It prophesied an ever expanding institution the langar khana established by the promised Messiah himself under divine command in Gardian for the benefit of all who came to him Today it is that same langar established by the promised Messiah alayhi salam that is still in operation to serve the blessed guests of Jalsa Salana The promised Messiah on whom be peace initiated the langar khana or the public kitchen for this very purpose and called it an important matter among other important matters Today wherever the community is established there is a langar khana in operation Seeing the financial blessings bestowed by the Almighty upon the community all over the world it is difficult to imagine the humble beginnings of the langar khana It was started from the house of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Hazrat Amma Jan the wife of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to prepare food for all people for all visitors and guests who used to come to see the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that was in accordance with the teachings of the holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam the holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam has said and it is in narrated by Hazrat Abu Hurairah radhiyallahu anhu man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhire fal yukrim wafahu that the one who believes in Allah the almighty and the hereafter he should give honor and respect to his guest the promised messiah on whom be peace used to join his guests for the meals arranged in his own house but the number of guests increased day by day and it was not possible for him to always participate the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam was commanded by allah the almighty la tusa'i li khalqillah wa la tasam min an-nas you should not turn away from creature of allah uh, the servants of allah and do not tire of people hazrat muslim aud radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu describes in one of his writings how blessed were the guests who had the opportunity to be served by the appointed one of god and the prophet of allah Dr Abdullah Saheb used to live in Lahore once he visited Qadian to see the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam and as he came traveling in the train he spent the night in Batala and he walked from Batala to Qadian when the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam saw him and uh, found out that he had walked from Batala to Qadian the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam said to him well you must have been very tired Uh, please tell me what would you like to have tea or lassi and he said lassi so the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam asked him to sit and wait in masjid mubarak 
a uh, little while little later the promised messiah sallallahu alaihi wasallam brought lassi in his own hand and uh, jug was presented to abdullah sahib and he was astonished that he was served like this in his book victory of islam the promised messiah peace be upon him has mentioned five branches of spreading the message of ahmadiyat one of them is the establishment and maintenance of the langar khana Hazur peace be upon him financed the langar khana himself when the number of guests started to increase he wrote to his close friends and asked them to contribute with donations later a general request to the community was made once the promised messiah peace be upon him wrote a letter to a sheikh in india requesting some donations the sheikh replied that he received the letter while his son was terminally ill and he had collected 200 rupees for his burial he said i am sending you that 200 rupees and will bury my son in a simple manner the examples of the hospitality of the promised messiah peace be upon him are countless and his followers during his lifetime or after him followed these examples and set very high standards Even today at any of the community's events community members and non-members alike enjoy the hospitality of thousands of volunteers at the annual conventions of the Ahmadiyya community tens of thousands of people are served with three meals per day over three days some guests arrive from other countries and are provided accommodation over a period of up to 2 weeks i remember cooking for about you know 10,000 then 15,000 in uh, Islamabad then now the figures have uh, reached up to 30,000 and obviously you need more volunteers i mean my team i've got you know all sorts of people i mean people students i've got uh, people who do ordinary work people who uh, work in offices uh, i've got uh, i've got a couple of guys who work in the police force i've got a sergeant i mean and then i've got uh quite a few guys who are at executive positions i've got a councillor who comes from you know uh down south as well so it's it, it, it's they all are volunteers i mean we at jalsa uh we haven't got anybody who who's, who's a paid worker or or they all volunteers azrat khalifatul masi the current supreme head of the community may allah be his helper continues to provide guidance to the community on how the workers should perform their duties. Hazur also provides guidance on the menu of the langar khana as well. Once during a jalsa inspection, Hazur saw that the opening times were written at the entrance of the public kitchen. Hazur removed the opening times at once and said that the langar khana is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. A full city is created to fulfill all the basic needs of the guests. To cater for the large numbers, it is not just enough to have a kitchen where the food is cooked. Technological advancement is used to not only save costs, but to provide better quality and fresh food, which is enjoyed by the guests of the Jamaat. This bread plant was developed and installed by the engineers of the community under the instructions of Hazrat Khalifatul Masi. May Allah be his helper. Volunteers operate this plant day and night. It is unimaginable that workers performing similar duties elsewhere would do this kind of work for free and still work happy. The aim of the public kitchen is in line with the practice of the promised Messiah alayhi salam. Different dishes are provided that suit guests of different nationalities and cultures. We do cater for all types of, you know, uh, for people uh, whatever their tastes are we cook according to that i mean like for instance you know especially people from far east uh, their uh, staple diet is rice you know from um, malaysia and you know those sort of countries uh, so we make sure that you know we've got rice for them as well so uh, and if somebody um, for the children who can't eat spicy food the volunteers at the public kitchen of the promised messiah peace be upon him are serving the public and only expect to be rewarded by Allah almighty indeed most of them believe that having the opportunity to serve in the way of Allah is a reward in itself
Every year, I mean, you, you still just want to go and just and experience the, you know, the, the, that uh, uh, wonderful camaraderie and the food, you, you know, and the fact that you're going to be feeding the, the guests of the Promised Messiah, uh, the Jalsa guests, and that it encourages you. And every year, I mean, the spirit is exactly strong as ever. Scores of people have visited various events and annual conventions of the community, and they have been greatly impressed by the conduct of the volunteers of the community. As a result, many have joined. If they have not joined, they have taken a very good impression of Islam and Ahmadiyyad with them. For this reason alone, the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, had, under divine guidance, established the public kitchen. It is a selfless serving of others, serving of one's own kind, and the serving of strangers which can restore the beautiful image of Islam and its founder, the Holy Prophet Muhammad.